Hey guys, what's up? So, to be sharing top best trade, teach five, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. The first tweet is called Page Bars, and it's an awesome T lack of customization tools. If I waste page dots, brand new and two sheet away, customize your existing page dots. This is called Unlock Sound. Unlock Sound brings the device to Unlock Sound back to iOS. You can able to disable the tweak, even use a custom Unlock Sound, and you send zap. This is called Circuit for YouTube. It allows you to download YouTube videos and much more. It's YouTube Plus Plus alternative. This is called Super Recorder X Plus, Call Recorder, and Voice Amplifier. So, if you all doubt it, also, you guys read the legal notice and comply with it. We are developers, not taking any responsibility for how you guys use this tweak. So, make sure you guys are using this tweak. Uh, make sure you guys are following your laws. Um, so yeah, me or developers aren't responsible, you just tweak at your own risk and comply with the laws. So when you guys install this tweak, you're saying that you comply with the laws and if you're doing trouble with the law while using the tweak, then you guys could be held responsible and you can't blame me or the, um, the developer. I'm going to show you guys this video for educational purposes only. Um, and you know, if you guys are like wondering how can I get in trouble with the law, it's just basically um, some counties or countries or some areas and you guys record a phone call, you have to let the person know you're recording the phone call. Um, so if you do not do that and there's a law in your state or county or whatever or country and it says that you have to do that and you don't do that, you technically are breaking the law. And you could get, uh, you know, in trouble for that. This tweet is called Lint 2, Ultimate iDevice Customization for iOS 14 and up. And this tweak is called DND My Recording, which stands for Do Not Disturb My Recording, and it was Do Not Disturb when a screen recording is initiated. After the recording ends, the DND, is, which is Do Not Disturb, is returned to the state it was beforehand. This tweak is called Pullover Pro, and it's basically a multitasking tweak. It allows you to, um, to just introduce a small tab on the side of the screen, which allows you to pin an app and pull it over to the current app. This tweak is called WeChat Red Envelope. This tweak is called NC Header Percent, so it's Notification Center Header Percent. It's a tiny tweak that allows to show the actual battery level instead of the default application's header titles and labels inside of the list of the Notification Center. This tweak is called Grady, it brings YouTube Music um, or Google Media Player to iOS. Next tweak is called Android Bar, feature pack quick action bar for iOS. It basically brings the navigation, the Android navigation bar to iOS. Next tweak is called Music Jester. Music Jester control and customize your music with gestures. Next tweak is called Atraria. Uh, it's proper home screen layout editor for iOS 14. So it brings dynamic home screen layout with configuration system for iOS users. Next tweak is called Plus for Instagram. So a must have tweak for Instagram users. Lightweight all in one crafted enhanced and unlock Instagram's full potential for users. So you have all these features right here. It's the Instagram plus plus alternative. Next tweet is called Pinny and pin a conversation on messages like iOS 14, but with iOS 13. Next tweet is called CC wall customizer and set a background for the control center for iOS 10 and up. Next tweet is called CC Wi-Fi uh, toggle. So next tweet is called CC Wi-Fi toggle and Wi-Fi is completely cut off. It's called color flow. And <clears throat> colors your music, colorful matches the now playing UI to your music album artwork and ads in the iOS 10 style music player on the lock screen. This is called Artsy, modify the lock screen control center on Spotify and music app now playing views based on the album artwork. This tweak is called Notchless and blacks out the back of the status bar to hide the notch. This tweet is a theme called Elusive, now it's now on the package repo, so you guys can grab a free copy as, as now. So, just a theme, and that's how it looks. It's called Cody 60 iOS 60 for a bit, supports iOS 9 to 14. It's an SBMC, it's a free open source media player application developed by SBMC or Cody Foundation, a non profit technology consortium. Uh, it's available for multi operating systems and hardware platforms. So it allows you to play and view most videos, music, podcasts, and other digital media files from local network storage media and the internet. Next, is called A Font and allows you to change your font. On your device. She's called MIM Port and import media directly from the music app. This she's called Bat Safe Pro, uh, allows you to personalize ch charging behavior for both iPhone and iPad, both iOS 13 and up. This she's called Haptic 10, it's also like Haptic 12, I think, and 13. Uh, it's also a mobile substrate tweak. This tweak is called Arizona, and what this tweak allows you to do, allows you to change the alignment of the stock lock screen clock to a fixed position left or right or to a custom position you want. This tweak is called Music Background. And add artwork to the background of the Apple Music Control Center Lost Screen Spotify title. This is called A Blaze, a colorful animated music background. This is called Big Sur Center. And Fresh New and Lightweight Control Center. So you guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next one. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace.